Hi, I'm Sandy from the Home Depot Rental Center. When your project calls for the installation of low voltage wiring, such as underground pet containment fences and landscape lighting, the Easy Trench cable installer is the tool to get the job done. Its caster steering on the rear wheels makes this unit easy to maneuver around turns and other existing landscaping. The unit installs your wire at 3.5 inches deep and backfills the trench in one operation. Now, before you get started, as with the safe operation of any power equipment, be sure you're wearing the proper safety gear. Wear safety glasses or a face shield, safety shoes, hearing protection, and gloves while you're operating. Additionally, do not wear loose-fitting clothing or anything that could become caught in the unit during use. For more information, always read and understand all safety and operational procedures in the manual before operating the machine. This tool is designed to cut in soil only. For best results, the soil should be dry. Never attempt to cut through rock, asphalt, or concrete. Keep both hands on the controls and away from moving parts while operating, and be sure to maintain a firm footing during use. Never leave the tool running when unattended and be sure to turn it off when not in use. Before you get started, check the area for objects that could be hazardous while operating, such as yard tools, rocks, hoses, or branches. Call 811 before digging and identify the location of any underground cables, wires, and pipes. Before starting the engine, first, Feed the wire through the guides and secure it to the ground using a small stake or screwdriver. You're now ready to start the cable installer. Turn the engine on. Open the fuel valve and move the choke to the closed position. Gently pull the engine cord to start the engine. Once the engine has started, move the choke to the open position. Grab the handlebars firmly and press down slightly to remove weight from the front. While pressing down slightly on the handlebar, pull the right trigger completely to throttle the engine and engage the trenching blade. While still pressing down on the handle, pull the depth adjustment lever on the left handle and hold it. Slowly pull backwards and begin removing weight from the handle to allow the machine to cut into the ground. Release the depth adjustment lever when the machine is parallel to the ground and begin to pull backwards. The machine will lay the cable while backfilling over your trench. As you move the machine, keep your arms and back straight, lean back slightly, and let your body weight help pull the machine. Always be safe as you work your project. If you strike something, stop immediately. Turn the machine off and identify what's in the ground. Objects such as rocks or concrete need to be removed before continuing. Never try to remove any lodged object while the machine is on. When you're finished with your project, release the throttle and allow the blade to stop. Raise the blade by squeezing the depth adjustment lever on the left and pressing down on the handlebars until the front tire is off the ground. Then release the lever and lock it into place. Turn the engine off and close the fuel valve. Allow the engine to completely cool before cleaning or transporting the machine. The muffler and engine will get hot enough to cause serious burns. Wipe off any excess mud or dirt and use a hose to clean the blade. Avoid spraying water into or onto the engine muffler, carburetor, and air cleaner areas. When transporting the tool in your vehicle, take off the cable spool. Then remove the handle lock pin and fold the handle forward. Properly secure the cable installer in the upright position to avoid injury or damage. Visit your local Home Depot or homedepot.com rental to learn more about the best tools for your next project.